Do you know most people go on a diet a month before their holiday? Well, I'm doing the complete opposite. I'm going on an all-inclusive cruise around Japan in 30 days. So that means it's time to get really fat and stretch my stomach, ready to eat everything. That's massive, dude. Oh, my God. Do you know most people? Do you know most people go on a diet a month before their holiday? Well, I'm doing the complete opposite. I'm going on an all-inclusive cruise around Japan in 30 days. So that means it's time to get really fat and stretch my stomach, ready to eat everything. Eesh, damn, that burger is literally bigger than her entire head. I know that in the UK, you guys have weird ways of eating and you guys incorporate things that normal people would not incorporate. In short, it's probably normal for you guys. I don't know why the people in the UK get the worst reputation for almost everything. Like you guys have bad weather. You guys eat the worst food. And it almost kind of seems like you guys have no taste buds because of you guys eating bad foods. You guys know you can eat good food, right? Like, you know that there are other things out there besides beans and mayonnaise on everything and food that is always brown for some reason. Like, I don't understand and whatever. Uh, but regardless of that, the sandwich that she's eating, the burger that she's eating, dude, a tr uh, that looks easily a double hander. And that shit's like at least the size of her head, which is insane because she has a pretty big head. And we're looking at also a tray of beans on the tray table to top it off. Who, uh, if I went to a restaurant and they had a tray of beans or like a bowl of beans in the middle of the, of the table, I'm going to have to call over the manager and be like, yo, what is this disrespect that you put on top of my table? You think this is appropriate in any way? You think this is good? Get this shit off my fucking table, bro. I don't want it. I don't want the beans. And you know what? I do like beans. I do personally like beans. But beans with uh, burger and fry, dude? I don't know about that. That's kind of crazy. Also, there's a cheeky little can of Coke over here. So, But I will give them. It's, it's, a, uh, it's an actual restaurant because they give you cans. Most restaurants will just give you the cup. But... Anyway, let's get back into it. An insight on the ship. And the easiest way to get fat is to have a burger for breakfast. We've I mean, he's kind of doing that. Well, look, it's like this, right? It's like if you haven't had sex for a long time and you're asking your friends, like, guys, it's been literally, by the way, if anybody points it out, it's a star patch. It's a heart. It's a heart. See, it's a heart because I have a pimple today. Okay. And that's to cover up the pimple. I know one time when I was younger, I had not had sex in over a year. Okay. I know. Hard to believe. And I... I was about to have sex with this girl. I knew I was because she was telling me that she wanted to have sex with me. And I was like, this is an anomalistic thing. And she looks somewhat presentable. So, like, she looks like a normal human being. So, this is, like, great. Um, so, I called up my friends and I said, listen, what do I do? Like, I haven't had sex in over a year. What do I do? And they said, this is what you don't do, okay? Don't beat off. Like, just, okay. First of all, if you beat off, it's going to be worse. Don't do that. Don't beat off at all for like a week and then when you finally when you finally do it's gonna be crazy bro she's gonna be satisfied with this the sheer amount of, of lubricant that you're able to produce right so i didn't for a whole month and i busted in 30 seconds maybe 40 seconds if i'm being honest and look i'm not even one of these guys that's gonna sit there and try to tell you that oh you know i i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna execute for 45 minutes nah Nah, you probably get a good 10, 15 minutes maybe. And if you want to do stuff before, which let's be honest here for a second, that is predominantly what a lot of sex is with women. Like most stuff that you're doing uh, when it comes to sex with women is just the pre the preamp to what's going to happen later. So, and you know what? I have a new strategy. Anytime I'm about to do anything with a girl, I just sit there for two minutes and let it like, let, let things juice up a little bit, right? So if you're about to go down on your girlfriend, you're about to eat her out, just put your face on her vagina for like 30 seconds. Just take take her vagina and then just go for 30 seconds and then start doing stuff. Because why not, dude? You guys already you you guys want stuff so infreq like it's it's it doesn't make any sense how you could sit there and go, "Do you want to have sex?" and I go, I'm ready. I'm I don't, I'm not even wearing pants anymore. I don't I, I I had pants, but now I don't have any pants anymore. But for girls it's like I want to have sex. And you're like, okay, let me get the towel. Let me get like, I don't know, like my hands warmed up, right? I got to like put them over the fire or something like that because I know that it's not actual sex. Like I got to like put my face in your face for 45 minutes and nestle your neck. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things. But for guys, it's like one thing and that's it. 
and which is one of the reasons why I think gay men have it easier. To Atlantic Cat. Oh yeah, uh, it's like that. Like it's like basically what this guy is doing is he's beating off before he has sex because he's trying to make himself last longer before he does have the actual sex. So, I mean, it might be a good strategy, especially if you know you're going to eat like 40,000 calories a day. So if that's what you want to do, go ahead. But for most people, dude, that's some fat ass shit to be like, I'm going to eat before I eat. And I had burger, beans and chips. It was burger, beans and chips. Sounds absolutely disrespectful. Stunning. For my first lunch of the day. Come Yo, this guy be on some different shit, dude. You can't be saying words like that, dude. My first lunch of the day. How many lunches do people usually have? Two, three, four, five lunches? I usually only have one. Maybe I'm the weird guy here, but I usually only have one lunch. One. But I guess for Corey's world, it's multiple. To chopsticks. I got katsu chicken curry noodles, and this was insane. I've popped a Cardiff today just to get some bits. Corey be looking real old recently, dude. I don't know what, what happened to him, but like I looked back at his videos a year ago, dude, and he looked substantially younger compared to what he looks like now. I don't know if it's the tanner. I know that people in the UK use a lot of tanner. I don't know if Corey himself uses it. If he does, it's definitely more ambiguous, like he applies it better than most, but he looks way older. And I don't know if that's because his genetics are really bad when it comes to like hitting, I think he said he hit 28 and he just started aging like crazy. But uh, it might be that, or it just might be the fact that he eats a very large amount of disgusting, high-calorie food, and that's obviously not good for you, so you get out what you put in, basically. You are what you eat in a very fundamental way, so if you eat like shit, you're gonna be pretty much looking like shit. And I always say this, like, if you wanna eat like shit, go ahead. Like, I have no quarrel against you eating whatever you wanna eat. Like, if you wanna sit there and you wanna body slam, you know, 2,000 calories of Oreos a day because you love Oreos so much in your mouth, go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead and eat your Oreos. But just don't complain to me when you look like a goldfish by the end of the month, dude. It's not practical. It's for my holiday, but I didn't find much stuff in Cardiff because they only go up to it. Bro, can, like, can you imagine just going to a mall just to eat? Like, that's a crazy ass thing. Like, I used to go to the malls just to look at stuff that I could never buy. And then I remember one time I was at the mall and there was a guy there. He was in a wheelchair. And he was selling one of those, like, uh, you know, like, oh, you know, the, the kids in Africa, it's terrible for them. It's real bad, right? And I was looking at this one kid, and he was, like, telling me, he's like, yeah, man. I, I know they hired this guy because he's in a wheelchair. He's going to have more people coming up to him, right? Because he's in a wheelchair, so people feel bad for him or whatever, dude. I felt bad, so I walked up, and I said, what's going on? And he showed me, he's like, you got to support these kids, man. It's crazy, right? And I remember I was looking at these pamphlets, and I was like, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. And this kid had Jordans on, Okay. And these were some big Jordans. Like, I don't know what the shoes are because I'm not black personally. I don't know, like, the the whatever, the the names or the numbers or whatever. I used to be really cool and, like, really into Jordans and Nikes and all this other stuff. But now I don't really care about it because it's not really, like, my priority anymore. But anyway, I was looking at this, this poster and it, the kid had Jordans on and he had a polo shirt. And I'm looking like, bro, if I'm donating, like, $20, can you, like, maximize that $20 as much as possible instead of just, like, I don't know, getting, like, another three twenty dollars and buying this kid a $60 polo shirt? I hope you got it on sale because that shirt is literally more money than my entire wardrobe right now. And I was poor, so obviously I didn't donate anything to him, and he felt real. Like, I remember pulling, I was like, bro, this kid literally has Jordans, and he was like, man... But they're struggling, man. They're struggling. You know how it is out there, bro. They got they got cactuses and stuff, man. It's terrible, bro. They living in huts. And I was like, I don't know, man. Like uh, you telling me he live in a hut, but he got uh, uh, this kid got more swag than me. And I'm just looking like, bro. I don't know about that. I was really, if that kid, if that kid was poor, what am I? You know what I'm talking about, dude? But that should have me on my back. Double Axel. It's a shame that. Wow. Somebody tell me about these, bro. So I'm guessing these are some kind of pretzel are these pretzels dude but i i would never dude you would never catch me buying a pretzel i know a lot of people do like pretzels and i like pretzels too but i only like the pretzels you can buy in the bags like street shops don't cater for fat boys i guess i'll have to just order from the plus size section on boohoo on the way home from cardiff i pass costco and after not finding any code bro this damn that shit is greasy bro People love to go to costco and get some good shit let me see real quick on the way home i just want to look at the menu uh, double cheese, fish fillet, chicken bake, jackpot. You know what? These prices are not bad, dude. Oh, a slice of pizza for two bills? I mean, what is that? Like, that's not two bills. That's technically around like one, two fifty, maybe like two seventy here in here in a uh, uh, eagle in eagle money. Uh, if I pass. That's not too bad. Oh, a pie for ten oh. bills. Ah, uh, ten bills for a pie, man. You, I got you got me fucked up. If you ever buying a hot dog, dude. 
Never in your life will you ever catch me going into a restaurant and buying a hot dog. There are never. That's like going into a restaurant and buying a tuna, a, a tuna sandwich, bro. What are you doing? Out of everything that you could have put your mouth on, out of everything you could have spent money on, you spent it on a hot dog? Nah, dude. It's never going to be worth it. Look, I know and you know hot dogs are a culmination of like elbows and foreskin and, you know, I don't know, probably horse meat, which is fine i'm like no problem dude i know a lot of people have this like moral high ground of like oh no I, I would never eat a hot dog shut up bro you know you would eat a fucking hot dog bro you were literally eating your girlfriend's ass like two weeks ago bro and you're trying to tell me that i'm a bad person because i'm eating fucking ballpark franks get the fuck out of my face bro eating ass is way worse than eating a hot dog okay trust i'm getting nutritional value from this all right dude and now granted it's a woman's ass so it's gonna be a little bit more nutritional it's gonna be a little bit cleaner so i'll give you that eating a man's ass is obviously crazy but if you're doing that i'll give you credit that you're going to, you know above and beyond for that but to get a hot dog at any restaurant in general dude like i feel like if you rolled up the costco and you were like can i get the hot dog they'd be like huh oh you're serious the hot are you sure you know what that is you know what the hot dog is right you sure you want that shit um all right bro i mean it's your funeral like that's what i feel like that's what they say and after not finding any clothes to fit me, it was time to eat my feelings. Usually Crazy. I eat Oh, I guess the pizza slice is big as fuck. That's like two... Nah. That's like... You get like a fourth extra slice. In the cafe. But for some reason today, I felt a bit nervous. A few people were... Oh, damn, bro. We got the BBC. Denies me. But I guess that's the price I got to pay for being a local celeb. I got a pizza and a chicken and cheese bake. And there's nothing better than Costco foods. I dream about it on a daily. That's after crazy, all, bro. Free, I need to that's crazy, bro. I mean, I, I hope he's joking. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if a dude like this was dreaming about Costco food. I've known dudes in my past literally have told me that like, they've Googled like the burgers that they're about to eat before they go eat them. Like they're researching like what's in the, what's in the, you know, the burger and how they cook it and all that sort of stuff. And it's great to show interest in the things that you're doing but damn bro that's a fat ass shit the sugar rush i felt like he literally called me i was like bro oh i can't lie david bro i was just i was just on google bro and I, you know remember that sandwich that we had like that sandwich that we had got like a week ago bro i woke up dreaming about that and i was thinking like man that shit sound good in my mouth and i was google image searching the cheeseburger and I realized, let's go, bro. I'm literally, I'm 20 minutes away, bro. Let's let's go and get this burger right now, bro. I know you want that shit, David. And I'm just thinking like, what? And he's like, I'm probably gonna have to get two, you know, one there and one for the road, just to make sure. And I'm just thinking like, what are you talking about, bro? I'm good. Like, I'm I'm fine. I don't need that. I don't need the burger, bro. I'm good. Like, I'm fantastic, matter of fact. But. Some people got different priorities. Some people got to Google image search what the burger is. Felt a bit shaky, so I popped to the shop and got some chocolate. I love a galley ripple for tea tonight. We've come over Leah's mum and dad's, and after eating all the junk in the trunk, it's yeah, like- Yeah, bro, this dude literally already ate like 4,000 calories worth of slop today, and now he goes back home just to get more slop. To have a home-cooked meal. Kirsty's made a sexy spaggy bolly, and Dry I love that he gets to play a bar okay. in a year. There's nothing worse than when you go over someone's house for tea, and they give you a tiny- Damn, bro, I don't know why this cheese is never, like, melted. Like, what is this cheese that doesn't melt on hot food? What is this cheese? Is this plastic? Is this, like, the drywall on your wall and you just, like, scrape it off with a potato peeler? Portion. Borderline disrespectful. This dinner was so stunning and there was leftovers, so we had a second plate. It's finally bedtime and I'm obsessed it? with these tenders at the minute. Cheese and pickle, basic. I thought I was done eating for the day. Damn, at 2 bro. this morning, I went downstairs for a drink and found leftover Indian in the fridge. Whoa. That is all. You just went into some random... So, wait, you went into your family's fridge, saw some leftover Indian, and you were like, that's for me. That's for my mouth. I knew it. I'm hungry, but I didn't know I was this hungry. I'm gonna need to body wash this right now. If you watch my videos but don't follow me, then you're what they call a peeping Tom. Did, well, hold up. Is that a... Step I'm sorry, hold up. If you watch... Cheese and onion? What the fuck is that? Is this an egg? Is this an egg sandwich? Do you know how easy it is to make an egg sandwich? Do, do you know how easy that is? Like, you know how easy it is to take an egg and put it in a pot that's boiling and then take that egg out, skin the egg, and then take the egg and mush it up with a little bit of mayonnaise and put it on bread? That's, like, really easy. It's almost kind of like no effort involved at all. I guess you're putting a little bit of effort in, smushing the egg up a little bit, but besides that, there's not much effort involved, dude. You're good. Now, People buying pre-made egg sandwiches are crazy, bro. It's the equivalent of buying, because eggs go bad. Okay, I don't know what I have to tell you, okay? If you're looking at an egg sandwich on a shelf, 
I don't know how long that's been there. I don't even know if that's even an egg sandwich. It could have started off as like two or three other things. And it just like fermented into an egg sandwich. Same thing with tuna. Why are you buying tuna sandwiches? That's insane. My videos, but don't follow me. Then you're what they call a peeping Tom. I've just... It's just something about this girl, bro. She just seems unnaturally tan. Like, I get it. She's probably tanning, right? But a lot of people tell me she's got a great personality and she smells really good. So I'll give her that, dude. It's just unfortunate. 400k followers on TikTok and 50k followers on Insta. If you Like, buying pre-made sandwiches, I'll just never get it, bro. I just, like, I get it if you're going somewhere and you don't have, you didn't have any food or whatever. You didn't pack a lunch. Like, I get that. Like, you're going to a beach or something and you stop at the local grocery store to pick up a sandwich. I get that. But I don't understand it. If you're going to just chill at your house, if you're just going to like go to a sandwich shop and then you're going to come back just to eat it at your house and to top it off, a double egg sandwich, dude, why? Out of everything you could have got, there could have been, if you're going to a sandwich shop, bro, get a steak and cheese, bro, get a chopped cheese, go ahead and get a, a, an Italian, whatever. There's tons of options there, but you went and got an egg sandwich is crazy told me a year ago people would want to watch me i think they were crazy so to celebrate i'm do you remember when samira was saying that she had a problem with all the p all the like the the big brands out there that were named like oh skinny fit or like skinny popcorn or thin fit or whatever like anytime you had the prefix of thin it would automatically be fat phobic because it has the intention of being skinny or like that's the key identifying factor there Ah, Samira. Oh, it's tough, man. Because I've been seeing more and more of this, bro. Fat hippo? Oh, no. I'm going to be doing a massive giveaway. So, Bro, I hope that's not mayonnaise. Let me know in the comments what you guys want. Charlie stayed over our house last night. We had a sleepover party. And tonight for tea, we've decided to come to fat I hippos. I just don't understand why so many people love the cheese pull so much. Like, is it really that incentivizing for you? I just want the food to taste good. I don't care if it pulls. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, people going to restaurants just for the cheese pull. It's like buying a car for the windows. Like, what are you What are you doing, dude? Like, go to the fucking... Go to the place for the food. Forget about the pull. You already know how obsessed we are with the food, here. And sometimes... You yeah, I, bro. You just need a good burger nipple. The cheese pull was insane. Obviously, I won. And the burger's so juicy and succulent. For the Black first time ever, burger. we managed to have a dessert. Back in the day, B Burger King used to have a red burger when it was doing a Spider-Man movie. And it was a black burger, too. I have had the uh, the black burger before at Burger King only because I was a plebeian and I fell in line and you know what I'm talking about like everybody goes and follows trends and stuff like that. Don't act like you didn't do that with chicken sandwich at, at uh, Chick Fil A, but I'm not really feeling a black bun if I'm being honest. There's something unnatural about it. Like when I was eating that burger, I was, I kind of felt disgusted a little bit, kind of like I was eating something fermented or something that was like pulled out of like an ether or something like that like somebody reached their hand into like a black hole and pulled out this burger like i felt like it was like that yeah usually we're way too full but we've been stretching our stomachs tonight we're going to the cinema to watch something in the water and i love a good horror film they're just so comforting last week we went to birmingham and we don't know where to go next we're going to have a cheeky weekend away in august but we still haven't decided yet yeah, where to go it's either newcastle live yo bro i gotta keep it a buck with you dude that's not it, dude. That's not it, bro. I don't know where those cups have been. You're not, you're sucking the outside of the cup. It's kind of crazy, bro. I knew a dude that worked at a fast food place, bro. And he would tell me he would rub his nutsack against some lady's um, cheeseburger every once in a while. If, like he saw her come in. She was a regular, but she was mean. He told me, and I'm not playing with you. He would literally take her patty. Like she would order a Whopper and he would take his nuts and he would just he would just slide it against his nuts like he would just have that shit dripping on her burger patty and shit and he would just give it to her bro now can you imagine what they're doing with the cups like i remember one time i was at a mickey d's bro i was like off the side of a road or whatever right and this guy i walked in and there was a mexican guy or maybe he was like puerto rican or so he's indian i don't know but he was stacking the cups in like you know what i'm talking about uh, the cups that you can just get off the side. This is before you can actually go in and get the cups. Like, you would have to pay for a cup now, and they give you the cup. But back then, you could just grab a cup, and they just kind of assumed that you were good. But anyway, this guy was stacking the cups and the lids. And I shit you not, like, they were in, like, those big tubes. And he, it just fell on the floor. Like, he, he was grabbing it from the wrong end, and it, like, fell onto the floor. And they were all over the floor. And he just picked them up. He looked at me. He was like this. He looked up. Yeah. And they just continued to stack them while I watched him pick up. The, the fermented remnants of the cups and the lids and you just put them right back into the thing. And I'm just thinking like, well, I mean, I'm not ordering a drink from this establishment, bro. Fuck that. But it's like that all over the place. So if you're out with floor juice or backwash of floor juice and you're out with sucking that shit like that, that's all right. 
I mean, that's up to you, bro. Um, don't act like you haven't put stuff, bad stuff in your mouth, but it's just kind of crazy that you would do it in a very voluntary way. You're not getting anything out of it. Liverpool, Manchester or Scotland. So let me know where it's best to go because we'd love to visit. Yeah, I, right, bro. Look, if I'm dating, hold up. Liverpool, Manchester or Scotland. Oh, okay. That's it. That's him. Scotland, so let me know where it's best to go. By the way, these drinks are like 500 calories, right? Like usually the slushies are really high in calories. Because we'd love to visit. This film was so good. Something in the water. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Something in the water sounds like if you went to a public pool and there was like a whole bunch of like nine year olds or like seven to, seven to nine year olds and there was just logs of shit floating amongst the children. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I, that's what I imagine. Or do you guys remember a few years back, there was like this thing that happened. I don't know if it was actually here. It might've been somewhere else in the country, but anyway. There was like a big public pool and the water was like really murky and then people were like, why is this water so murky? But like, forget about it. Like it's summertime. We're going to enjoy the summer. And they went into the, they went into the pool and after like four or five days, um, they, they were cleaning the pool and then they found out that there was a dead lady, like just at the bottom of the pool, just kind of, you know, marinating up the pool with her body juices for like a good four or five, six days and children. You know, children, I mean, granted, obviously, uh, pfft, it was other people, dude. Can you imagine literally going to your doctor and being like, I don't know why I got this UTI. Like, I don't know what happened. And then you realize like, oh, I got that, I got the UTI because I was swimming with a woman that was dead for like a week and a half. And I just got her body juices all up in my vaginal creases and stuff like that. But that's gotta be real traumatizing, bro. That's something most definitely you never tell your kids, right? Like you're never going to go to your kids and be like, Honey, I got to tell you something. So you remember that pool that you went to for four days in a row and you had a great time and you were literally like putting your face under the water and stuff like that. It was great. And it was amazing. Yeah, that there was a dead lady. There was a dead person that was under the water and you were just inhaling it. You were you were loving it. I mean, you loved a dead dead lady water juice. Um, You're haunted for the rest of like you can't say that. You know what I'm talking about? That, that actually did happen, though. There was like a dead lady at the very bottom of the water. So it's either poop logs in the water or a dead lady it's although i'm a water baby i'm petrified to the sea this was my first mackies of the day i haven't had a mackies breakfast I, you know it's crazy as fuck to say this is my first mackies of the day because that implies that you're about to go back a few other times for ages i couldn't fuck. get myself one without taking one to leah's works so i met her on her first break i got two Corey kind of looks like he should belong in like a like a late 90s boy band right like i can totally see him dressing up in those like you know those w big white long robes or whatever they called them like with the what were those things called like the jumpsuits or whatever dude they were like white they were long they had nike across them or maybe they were adidas uh they never fit they never fit at all and they looked bad even back then but they would you know that's what they wore back then i don't know maybe some dcs i don't know browns one for me and one for my mcmuffin remove the egg and damn, why do you need the egg when you got the damn bro that's some fat ass shit an extra cheese this was probably the first time a mcdonald's breakfast haven't given me diarrhea so i know today's gonna be a good day yeah i mean if your mcdonald's is giving you a passive debuff of diarrhea and you're just going like this is the first time it's ever not happened Maybe your body's like adapting. This could be like a benefit actually. And this McMuffin was 10 out of 10. Like do you see like this is like he looks okay here. Okay, this this video is from like a year ago. What the fuck happened, dude? Like he looks so he looks so much better here. And I'm not even trying to like shit on Corey or anything like that. I still think he looks good, but it seems like Corey aged like a good 5 or 6 years in one year, bro. And it might have been because these mukbangs or like the what I eat in a day videos got got him so viral like he got a ton of views off of them so he just kind of kept doing them because it, you know that if something works you're going to keep doing it until the well runs dry obviously and i guess he just kept doing it and didn't actually you know like care about the repercussions of it like sort of kind of looking like the emperor uh from star wars every single day like you're looking more and more like the emperor kind of tough I had no idea what to have for lunch, but I did buy 12 little pies from... See, this is why, like, when I wake up in the morning, I take something out. So that way I have to eat it. Like, today, I have two pieces of chicken breast on my counter that are defrosting right now. And I know I'm going to eat those because I have to. I took them out. So, like, I'm not going to be a bitch and not eat them, dude. I'm going to fucking eat those shits, bro. 100%. Tesco. And I've been eating them up the last two days. Steak and ale and chicken and ham hock. They look so good. 
and they taste it even better. I only had nine. It seems like no matter what he eats, it's either fast food, somebody cooked it for him, or it's like the frozen food section. And don't get me wrong, it's okay to have some chicken tenders every once in a while, some nuggets, bro. But it, it would be a little bit better if you showed some incentive and actually cooked it yourself, because that shows me that you got some skill. But, you know, hey, bro, it is what it is with Corey, right? I mean, he, he's going to eat a copious amounts of food regardless. I'll probably have the other three tomorrow. Are and you? with the mayonnaise, is always crazy, bro. I can never do it with the mayonnaise. And this... To top it off, the fact that he's almost dry on the mayonnaise, dude, it would take me a year to finish a jar of mayonnaise, and I have to be really trying. You already know I'm having it with mayo. They were banging. Damn, Fun bro. Fun fact of the day Damn. for any parents watching. Video games can be more effective in battling depression for teenagers than a counselor. So make sure you let your kids play some video games. True. And if you don't believe me, Google it. For my first tea, I had Chippy. I only had a scoop. Oh, he went back to Mickey D's. He's right, dude. My first tea again, dude. Uh, you know, I don't know how many teas you guys have in a day. I don't have any tea because I think tea is like a gay version of coffee or whatever. No, I know what they. I know what he's saying by tea. It's like a place or like a time you get food or whatever, dude. It's like a dinner or a lunch. I understand that. But even still, like, the fact that he said that this was going to be his first Mackey's of the day, like, he was already preemptively ensuring that he was going to have a second Mackey's. No, so I didn't even touch the sides. I went for my second Mackey. Ooh, dude, you did not get too large fried. That's crazy. Peace. Large Big Mac meal. Remove the lettuce and the gherkins. Yeah, you don't need a lettuce. Fuck the... We don't need any of that. Dude, what is that, bro? Got a little some extra right here. What is this? <laughs> Looks like they gave you something a little on the side right there, bro. So you got the fry... The Big Mac meal, that means you got to drink with it. You got rid of all the green stuff. We don't need that shit. That's gay, obviously. We don't do green stuff here. Uh, yeah, bro, I mean, it is what it is. If you guys don't know, a Big Mac is about 500 calories. A large fry is about 500 calories. And the drink is probably around 300 something calories. So I would have to go as far as to say that this is probably around 12 to 1300 calories easily just for this meal. And by the way, just, just for context, just for some context, uh, most males need about 2500. So this guy's eating like half his day with just this. So, yeah, and by the way, Corey probably doesn't even need that, given the fact that he's not doing shit anyway. Like, he's just sitting down all day, and if he is moving, he's moving to a place to get the food, so. Added an extra cheese. It was banging. You added an extra cheese is insane. And then for my side, Damn. I had 20 chicken nuggets. That, nah, bro, shut the fuck up. You did not have a side of a 20 piece. That's a fucking lie, bro. He's joking, dude. You had a 20 piece as a side? Isn't a 20 piece like a solid stack of, of calories? No, it's not. It's like 870 or like 900 calories. But come on, though. Like, you got, what? Who has 20 McNuggets for a side? That's crazy, bro. I've never seen some shit like that. You might as well just get another meal for the side, bro. What the fuck? And the cheese bites. They put me in the And the cheese bites is crazy, bro. You had two meals. Next window. So I had to wait ages. But it was definitely. He pulled back through. Like he, okay, so I, what I'm hearing from this is he pulled up with the Big Mac meal, body slammed the Big Mac meal, and then determined that the Big Mac meal wasn't enough to satiate him, because obviously he's a big man, and he was like, I'm probably going to need to body slam a 20 piece, bro, but I'm going to need something on the side, I'm probably going to need to get that cheese dip shit, I'm probably going to need to go through right now, just spin the block one more time on the Mickey D's, bro, can you imagine being a McDonald's worker, bro? And you're in the window and you just gave this big man his meal. And then 20, 30, 40 seconds later, you see him pull back around. And you're like, yo, what are you doing? I just, I gave you your order. You're like, yeah, uh, I ordered another, I ordered something else. Yeah, I, my bad. Right, yes. Um, So I actually ordered something else because the last meal wasn't going to cut it. So, you know, I had to come back through to make sure that I got my extra meal. And you know, the points, the points, the points, the points. I hope he's using the fucking points. This guy, literally by the end of the month, has got to have like 40,000 McDonald's points, bro. You worth the wait. I hope you've had a good day. It's not. Ne never in your life have you ever heard somebody say, McDonald's is worth the wait. It's never worth the wait. Like, when you go in and there's a line, you leave. That's insane. If there's more than three people, leave. That's crazy, bro. Uh, unless there's a fight going on in the, Mc in the McDonald's, you leave, bro. That's just what it is. I'm sorry to say it, dude. Uh, and if you're waiting for more than 10 minutes, no, my bad. Let me think about this. If you're waiting for more than five minutes at the McDonald's, dude, you are, you're pro something's going on with you, bro. Five minutes, bro? I'd be complaining. After the five minutes, I'm going, yo, where my shit at? And they'll go, oh, sorry, my friend. Here you go. Here's your food, my friend. And tomorrow I'm trying a Bradford delicacy. 
why in a day recently i've had so many nasty right, comments dude. on my videos luckily i'm thick skinned and comments off you thick skinned and thick gutted too bro trolls don't affect me just get bullied in school for free at least now Damn. i'm getting paid to be bullied hey i'll right. give him that though if he's if he's the real deal here i do believe that he is true on the fact that he doesn't really care about the bullying like people will say whatever the fuck he wants to say to them and he just kind of like you know shrugs them off it is what it is so i'll give him that he is thick skinned um to a certain degree or another he did make that one video where he's telling people not to judge him on his eating habits which is really really stupid because that's impossible to do given the fact that you are literally your entire channel is dedicated to your eating habits that'd be like literally steven spielberg going don't judge me off of like schindler's list like what are you fucking what are you talking about bro that's like that's like your movie bro like what are you talking about you can't really i you can't judge you off the things that you've done that doesn't make any sense like don't watch the movie and judge it okay bro same shit here like oh yeah even though i'm gonna eat like four thousand calories don't judge me on that so yes i will agree that Corey is probably a little bit thick-skinned um metaphorically speaking obviously like mentally speaking but uh, he's also incredibly uh, dumb. Everyone commenting nasty things on other people's videos or fake accounts. I feel really sorry for That looks terrible, bro. Did you that, did can't that be look a very good nice to you guys? life to live? And you must be really sad and lonely. So if you ever do feel lonely, if you ever want to chat. Sometimes I agree. Like sometimes people, sometimes people go above and beyond. And I just think, like, dude, like, what do you, do you have a life? Like, what are you even doing right now, bro? Like, this is like a targeted effort. And you're just doing something for no other reason than you just got a lot of time. Like, you, you don't have, like, a video game to play or, like, rent to pay or something like that, dude. Or, like, go drink some iced tea or something, bro, you know? Or a friend that messaged me. Because it's not normal to tear other people down. Please think. It, it depends. Like, it depends on what you mean by tearing people down. Sometimes people are just assholes for no other reason than just being assholes. And then there are the people that are, like, actually genuinely there to give you some good information. You probably determine that to be bad, so before you comment on other people's videos the videos i make might not help you but i get so many messages a day saying it's helped so many people i guess dude but that's a really bad metric bro like that's like somebody going like i get a lot of support because you know i make a lot of crackhead videos i ingest a lot of cocaine i suck a lot of bbc too um recreationally not in a gateway or anything like that and even though like the majority of the things i do are really really bad to the majority of people well i get like four people a month that comment and say that i'm inspirational to them so like you know i'm doing something well i'm doing something good like, I guess, if that's really, like, the bar, bro. Um, by the way, it doesn't matter if people are commenting that you're doing well. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? You should you should know what you're doing is good or not good. And would I say what Corey is doing is not good? I don't know, bro. It just depends on what you mean by not good. Like, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't know what's inspirational about watching a... Uh, uh, an overweight man go from, you know, ca ca calorie depth, calorie count to calorie count, surfing literally across the entire UK, whether or not you're going to get, you know, an Indian takeout or a Mackey's and then eating 4,000 calories a day while literally looking like you've been tanning in the sun. Like you look like a completely different species of human, even though I know you never get sun because the UK has like a 5% chance of ever having the sun. So, I mean, sure, bro, but I don't know what would be inspirational about that. But you know what? To each their own, bro. You're inspirational, true. Don't have the best relationship with food or people with eating disorders. So if you don't like my content, please just block me. I'm That's true. I mean, hey, if you want to block him, go ahead, bro. But I think uh, Corey's a beautiful person. He's a great person. I would love to talk to him. Be kind. I've just found out some. If you're cutting pizza with scissors, bro, I know a lot of people might think that's meta. You can do it. You can, I'm not going to hate on it, dude. It is what it is, man. It's, it's a little bit unprofessional. But then again, like, if I rolled up to a pizza shop... And that dude started cutting the slices with a pe with, with some scissors. I would have an issue, but I wouldn't have an issue if I went over to your house and you had like a frozen pizza. I wouldn't have no issue with that. And you started cutting cutting it with scissors. I would have no issue with that. Uh, but you know what? There have been a few times where I was looking at the the dude behind the counter at a certain restaurant. I was looking like I don't know about this. Like, I, like you ever go to a Chinese food restaurant? You roll up and you see a black guy behind the counter. And you're like, what is your last name, bro? You know, like what do you? How long you been working here? It, who who else is back there? Are you just standing in for somebody? Like who are you, bro? And you roll up like, uh, yeah. Can I get the the shrimp fried rice? Yeah, man. Whatever you want, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you look back. You're like, yo, is there even a Chinese guy here? What is going on, bro? Is this not family owned? Like, is this not been in the family for like four, four, five, six, seven generations? Who are you? You don't ever question that, dude. I sometimes question that because like I want. I want the, the years and years of, of built up maturity and grease on that Chinese guy's hand, bro. Like, think about the amount. Like, have you ever seen Chinese guys cook at Chinese food restaurants, bro? They're just tossing their hands in there, bro. They don't wear gloves. They're just going in there, just dipping their hands in the vats of oil, dipping their hands out. Like, the seasonings are not actually from the seasoning powders. It's from their hands, okay? You're getting the seasoning powders from the Chinese guy's hands. Now, granted... 
the Chinese food wasn't good. Was it because there was a black guy working there? I don't know. But I also know that it wasn't good. Could there be a correlation? I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, if you rolled up to a soul food restaurant and there was some Indonesian guys behind the counter, are you going to have some questions? What if you rolled up to a boba tea shop, okay? And there was a couple, you know, like there was a Puerto Rican guy. Like, what would you do? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. What are you doing? Devastating news. I've got to cut out cheese. Wow. Cut down on cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. That's kind of, well, yeah. you're lactose intolerant? Bro, what is up with this cheese? Where do you get this fucking thick ass cheese that looks like it doesn't melt? So I've got to get my cheese fixed before I quit. I had a cheese and pepperoni pizza for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had cheese and jam. That's one way to do it. Like you go to the doctor and the doctor's like, listen, dude, you got to cut out the cheese. And you're like, all right, bro. So today I'm going to literally eat nothing but cheese. So that way for the rest of my life, I never have to worry about it ever again. Even though literally this video was like six months ago. And he still eats cheese like every single day and a lot of it too toast if you don't know about cheese and jam on toast get to know cheese and jam on toast that's what that was Ooh, that's a that's a big no bro that's a big disgusting no bro damn man you really got people out in the uk eating that that's tough that's real tough bro you you guys represent this you guys are okay with that? Corey's your representation? All right. The combination is unmatched. I couldn't be bothered to cook today. Ooh. So we kept it simple and went to chippy. I had chips, jumbo sausage and butter. A Damn, BBC sausage, bro. Red roll and some curry sauce. Excuse me for blaspheming. Oh. Dude, I just think these guys have so much money to be spent. Like, I, I would love to see their bank statements by the end of the month, bro. Because the amount of takeout these guys have is insane, bro. Like, I get it. Takeout is good. Um, Every once in a while. It's okay to go to Mickey D's, get yourself a Big Mac, swat that shit down your mouth, spend 45 minutes on a toilet regretting your decisions and then spending the rest of the day trying to you know make up for that bad decision but for these people eating out three four five six times a day dude that's just gotta add up i would love to see their bank statements and how they're able to support that kind of addiction bro because like make no mistake about it this is an addiction oh my god it was really good usually i'm not a fan of that chippy but the chips were fresh the sausage was fresh and this chip and curry roll was the best i don't even know what you mean by it was fresh like it was just deep fried it was probably just sitting on like the tray for like the last 20 hours charlie went to who colts and she damn bro she got the donuts bro damn them things is big got us all the donuts oh Ooh, damn kind of look like somebody has some a little extra time with this one dude <laughs> am i wrong Oh, how cute. I had a roller one. It was in my... Oh, man. You know how many calories this donut is, bro? I'm not even joking with you. I, if you told me this donut was like 700 calories, I would not be surprised. Dunkin' Donuts are like... I don't even know how to pronounce that properly. Dunkin' Donuts Donuts? That sounds incorrect. But Dunkin' Donuts Donuts, uh, their donuts are like three to 500 calories, depending on the one you get. Like the chocolate glazed donut is literally like 400 calories, bro. No joke. And this looks like way bigger. Like, bro, go to go to Dunkin' Donuts. The donuts are like this big now, bro. I don't know what they're doing, but they're selling them at the same price. And I don't think they noticed that we noticed that they're smaller than they actually were like five years ago. I don't know if they're trying to like maximize the batter or something like that. But regardless, um, it's a lot of calories for something very, very light like that. And I... And then to sit here and have a deluxe version of that, this got to be way more calories. Matched. So caramelly. Finley made us a cheesecake. If you Damn, bro. What is that? What happened, bro? Yo, you missed the toilet? Why does it look like that? Ugh. Want to see how it was done? It's on my last video. It was Ugh. Lotus Biscoff flavor. And let me tell you now, it was a mean cheesecake. Does anyone know if there's a McDonald's in Kamartha Shia? Why in a day? I've been healthy eating the last few weeks. True. I've lost 10 pounds so far. And I'm feeling much better in myself. 10 pounds? Ready to fucking fuck it up, dude. I lost 10 pounds. To guess what we're going to do today? Gain it back. Elf. But I'm having a day off from the healthy eating. True. But I'm just going to have whatever I fancy. Whatever. Me and Charlie's popped to Ikea this morning. Damn. I didn't even know you had trays like this in, in Ikea, bro. Who is that, bro? Is that? Who is that, bro? Is that Bernie Mac? Who is that? Because I'm desperate for a new kitchen. And you can't come to Ikea without going to the calf. I got meatballs, chips, and gravy. I mean, I've never even been to an Ikea in my entire life. Is Ikea good, bro? People have told me that the, the food there is okay. I heard about the meatballs, I guess. Like, that's, like, the definitive thing that everybody goes for. But that's it. Like, I've never even knew. Like, when somebody told me that you can eat at Ikea, I was like, what do you, like, eat what? Like, the gum underneath the fucking table? Like, what are you talking about, bro? But you can. There's, like, a restaurant there, I guess. That and pasta and sauce. Like, you gotta be a really fat dude to be rolling up to the Ikea to get food, bro. That's insane, bro. Can you, like, you really rolled up to the Ikea, not for furniture, but for food? 
That's tough, bro. Darling That's a real obesity. Mash. Since I've been doing... Who is that, bro? Is that MLK? Who is this, bro? Who is this guy? CeeLo Green? Who is that? TikTok full time. I feel like I've lost my purpose in life. I spend most days home alone. I feel what do you like mean by TikTok full time? Like how many? Dude, I would love to know like you can really make TikTok full time just by making eating videos, bro. What a great life this guy lives, bro. Wow. What a crazy, beautiful, amazing life. Like can you imagine telling somebody that 10 years ago? Like when I grow up, I'm going to be a TikToker and all I'm going to do is just eat 4,000 calories, 5,000 calories a day, record myself doing it and then post it to a social media platform that doesn't like other opinions. That's, that's crazy, but nobody would believe you. Like I'm wasting my time. I'm thinking of getting a part-time job or maybe even volunteering just to Yeah, probably just, you know, like I feel like when you have like this particular type of job, the, the days kind of meld together because you don't really know what, like, like, why do you even need to know what the days are? You know what I'm talking about? Like you ever talk to somebody that doesn't have a job or do anything? You just like, Hey bro, uh, do you want to hang out on Tuesday? And they're like, uh, what's today? And you're like, the fuck you mean? What's today? What are you talking about? And they're like, what are you, like, what's today? Like, what is it, like, Monday? And you're like, bro, it's Friday. And they're like, oh, it's Friday. Yeah, 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 Tuesday, right? What is that from now? And you're like, what do you mean, what is that from now? And they're like, yeah, bro, I, I'm free on Tuesday. And you're like, I know, bro. I know you're free on Tuesday, bro. And it's okay. It's okay to be free on Tuesday, bro. And there's no problem on that, dude. Whatever, dude. I prefer to have the days in the middle of the week off because, dude, in the weekends, it sucks so much ass to do anything on the weekends, bro, because everybody's off on the weekends. And you roll up into a store and there's like 80 billion people in line in every single store and there's so much traffic everywhere. I would prefer to do everything in the middle of the week, dude. I don't care, bro. But uh, yeah, uh, a lot of these people, I've said this before, but I think a lot of these people that do these fast food content videos do need to probably pick up a job just for the, not for the money because I'm pretty sure they make enough money already. It seems like they do, obviously, since they're literally eating out like every fucking video at least three or four times. I think they need it for the structure of a job to get like the waking up, going on time, getting in the job, doing a particular position, understanding time frames, you know, stuff like that, the structure of a job. A lot of people are lacking that nowadays, bro. You know how many people that I met that you know how many people I know that go, I'll be here at this time. They show up an hour later. Dude, I'm always a perpetually hour early on everything. Sometimes even more than that. Like sometimes people will go, can you pick me up from the airport? And I'll be there three hours before you even get there you're not even on the plane to depart yet and i'm there that's me like i'll always show up super fucking early because it's always better to be early than late so anyway fill my time up doing better things and get me out of the house a bit more and i need to start socializing with people again so if there's anything you think i would soup doing please let me know in the comments below because i want to find something that i'm good at and that i have a passion for and i usually love making content for you guys but for the last few weeks i haven't enjoyed it as much as i usually do so i think i need a full reset and i hope you guys don't think i'm complaining because i'm very happy bro what is this bro what the fuck did you order where they gave it to you like this? Does that say enjoy? What is that? What did you order? What did you like call them like, hey, bro, can you just like, whatever's on the floor right now, can you just put that in a box? I, I'm gonna need that. Whatever it is, I don't even know what it is. Put it in a box. I'm gonna need that real quick and send it to me and make sure you put enjoy on the inside of the box. This looks disgusting. What is this thing? What the fuck is this? Some kind of cookie? With my life. And I know I'm in a very privileged position, but I miss the feeling of. Bro. We need to calm down. We need to, we need to have a calm. We need to have a talk, Corey. You, you didn't just order some slop on a plate and then just coat it with some ice cream, bro. What are you fucking doing? How the fuck did you lose 10 pounds in a week? This alone is like 10,000. This alone is probably like 2,000 calories. And could we just do this like Nutella? There's like some kind of white chocolate on that. I'm pretty sure that's a cookie underneath, I think. I don't fucking know. There's ice cream on it now. I, I What are you... This is easily like 10,000 calories, right? Like, we, can we just talk about this for a second? Like, in the entire day, like, you probably gained back that 10 pounds literally today. Doing something rewarding. And for me, that's always been... Oh, my God, bro. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You don't care about yourself at all? Helping others. And if you're feeling like this bro, in a minute... Only these people will... Uh, don't worry, you got... These people will literally be like, I get it. I'm helping other people. I'm an inspiration. I know what I am, okay? I'm, an he I'm a hero. Anyway, watch me eat this ginormous chocolate chip cake. Because guess what? I'm a hero. What are you talking about, bro? You're fat. Like, you're not a hero, bro. You're obese. You're fucking... What, what, what is inspirational about this, bro? Like, I get it. Like, it's, it's inspirational that I can watch somebody... To eat as much slop as you and still be alive. Wow, bro. Inspiration to the human race. Not so much you, but hey, bro. I mean, take wins wherever you can get them. Sometimes you got to proclaim your, your beauty sometimes, even though because nobody else will tell you. So regardless, 
Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if Arabic leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, I want to thank everybody that's a member of the channel. Thank you so much for becoming a member. You guys are all amazing people. I want to thank everybody that's subscribed. Thank you so much. I'm almost 10K, so I appreciate that. All this love and support. You guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular people. You guys are literally everything to me thank you so much for being here for watching this video if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now leave it down below by typing in cream uh c-r-e-a-m like that stuff that was on top of that guy's food and how disgusting it was uh personally i don't like the cream i like whipped cream but only just like not on not on nipples though not on nipples i've done that before it's it's uh not it doesn't stay on it doesn't stay on it's not as cool as i feel like it should have been like you do it and you're like and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh, uh, sliding off. Oh, no. Uh, pick them up. Hurry up. I can't know what I'm doing. And uh, then you try to lick them up. And then you realize it's not as good, dude. It's not as good. It's not as. I just want the whipped cream, actually, now. And um, now you're now you're just wondering whether or not now that other person thinks you're weird. Like, well, you do want to lick whipped cream off my nipples. And now you don't want to do that. What's wrong with me? Nothing. I just don't look at you as a cake. You know, I don't know. Anyway. We're we'll gonna end the video here. You're a beautiful person, by the way. I love smelling your eyebrows. They're really delectable. I was smelling them last night while you were sleeping. And I discovered something about you. I discovered that you are you sleep really well. You sleep very, very well. I love that you have a good sleeping schedule. And I love that you take care of yourself so drastically. And that's amazing. I really care for you, by the way. You smell so good. I love your eyebrows. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.